Okay. So no, it, no, I know, but no, what no, I'm about to say is this time we kind of like almost had like the same area of the Wild and Out girls. So they would come out like damn near halfway dressed, like get food and shit. And I think they did that shit on purpose because niggas was back there going ham. I don't know, fuck, I can't speak on what I know I was. I was, go, I'm looking at them like, oh my God, I'm ready to get fired. I don't give a shit. I will lose my job just to touch that ass. Dude, they had, they had the creme de la creme of like, Wild and Out Girls yes, this time. Yes, yes, yes. Like, I'm talking about the everybody you crime, think nigga. is famous on the gram. They were on Wild and Out. They were on Wild and Out. They were Wild and Out Girls. Ass like this. Like this. Like a full bag of chips. Yup. Boy, Mr. Slow It Down, Mr. Wild and Out. You watching this is 50com Slow it down, bitch. I just dissed you. Yeah. She said she want me. She new to the city. Here's one thing I know about her. Her name can't remember, but she got the fire head. I call her Ghost Rider. She must be tripping to think that I'm tipping and tricking like me. Smirai! My nigga. Uh huh. Don't worry what Jack got. Boy, stop. Any chick that I'm with, hit the jackpot. Uh huh. Now that's hot. Pockets full of guapamole. Take your chick and dip her. Guacamole. Uh huh. That's funny, ain't it? Who's laughing now? I take your chick and dipper and pass around. I'm a pastor now. Time to collect. I'm signing the checks. It's just a sign of respect. It's thriller game, and I got the game buzzing. I'm a jack of all trades. I get your name popping. Wild out, nigga. DNA, tag in. Let's go. Tag in, DNA. No, you're on your own. How am I going to beat Jack Thriller and just spit that shit, my nigga? Can you get him for me, please? No, I already beat him. You didn't. You beat me? I was here two years ago, Jack. You remember? Oh yeah, he, you he beat, did who? beat me. He did. He, Jack Thriller. Yeah, he 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 did. He washed my ass. <laughs> All right, Jack. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you why I'm hot. Cause they got me battling the nigga with one eye. I call him Cyclops. I come through on my block. Nigga, I'm gonna call you Vizine because that I dropped. <laughs> How dare you go against me? You look really scared. How the hell you look like a gangster ass builder bear? You said it yourself. I mean, <laughs> you look like a gangster Winnie the Pooh. This is something I really do. I'm gonna stop right there. I can't freeze. I, I don't wanna have a no problem with Jack, man. I don't wanna have a no problem with Jack. Yo, y'all tell us who won. I killed him. <laughs> and I'll do it again. Now, you on a new season of Wild Now. You was on the last season of Wild Now when it brought, when it came back. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? Now, what's the difference? Uh, and it seems like Nick uses you as his secret weapon when it comes to battle rap. Right. You know what I'm saying? He brings you, he brings you out, you know, to handle that light work. Right. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately, a lot of times it's Nick that has it to be the light work that I gotta handle. But <laughs> I mean, but you know, he knows what he's what he's doing, so. It is what it is. Yeah, exactly. What's the difference between battle rapping inside Wild Style and battle rapping inside Smack? Is there a difference? It's a very, very, very big difference. On Wild and Out on TV, as you all know, it's more and Wild N' Out is a comedy show, so it's leaning towards the joke. You know what I mean? Like when everybody was calling you, I mean, the fat, fat boy, you thought you was Hulk Hogan and shit. Yeah, I, yeah. Was, I, <laughs> Nick, I was push up in it and all, sit up in it. So, I mean, it's complete, you know, a URL battle or even a well, whatever league is a hostile in, in the environment. There isn't really no smiling, no ha ha ha. No, no. Yeah, it's not like, it's love after. God, God don't live there. Right, no, exactly. You know what I mean? So, as far as uh, while it, while and out, it's just all jokes, fun. I mean, just bringing the dozens back, just snapping on people, just joking. Like, you don't really have to really get too lyrical. You don't really have to make the crowd think you're there to make them laugh quick. Boom, and shot. So it's a complete difference. He went from rapping to acting. Of course, the people gonna doubt him. You did Love Don't Cost a Thing, and neither did your album. <laughs> I've heard people make a lot of Rock Wildin' Out uh, references to you 
like inside your battles. Mm-hmm. You know, do you feel like Wild and Out kind of cramps your style as far as you being hardcore inside the battle rap or whatnot? Or do they take you as seriously or they do they think you're a joke? Um, I don't feel like it did, but to be real, it. I know in a, I know that's the way the fans look at it. Like the real hardcore battle fans, you know, they consider like. They probably consider that more like selling out or something, you know, or, or, or some shit. You know, until they just get used to it. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? If Battle Rapper makes a reference about it, nine times out of ten, they're probably jealous. Or nine times out of ten, or t- ten times out of ten, if they got the call the next week, they would go and do it. Mm. You know what I mean? So, I mean, the Battle Rap community, I know at first, they were kind of, they were kind of looking down upon it. I think now they're starting to lean a little more towards it a little bit i mean so but the thing is like, like i always said battle fans are really selfish i mean they want you forever i mean like if you if i do a, all right, well, my battle let's say i got a movie deal or whatever so now i'm doing i'm not battling no more like i'm doing a couple movies now all of a sudden, if somebody is conventionally conceded in the battle, ah, oh, fuck, fucking see the heat. That nigga's Hollywood. He's doing movies. Blah 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 blah. Like he need to come back in battle. And like, well, if I got to that point, why would I come back in battle? The point is to use battle as a stepping stone to get higher. I mean, and like I said on previous interviews, y'all supposed to want that force and wanna, I mean, come along with us for the ride. But battle rap fans, they want you. Nah, nigga, you battle and that's it, nigga. I don't want nothing, nigga. I want to see you. Kill a nigga all the time. That's it. You know what I mean? These fans yeah. ain't loyal. These hoes ain't loyal. As much as we love y'all, we all we wanted the same love back. Just, I mean, help us. I mean, help us get to the next level and just come along with us. We can't forget about y'all. Nigga, a lot of times, not damn near all the time, every battle rapper, every opportunity we got outside of battling came from battling some, somehow. Some I mean, like Joe Budden was a fan of service battle rap, that's why he took him on the win. Nick Cannon was a fan of my battle raps, that's why he got me on Wild Out. I mean, so, it's still, we still battle the related thing, we still got the blood, just come along with, with us, that's, that's, that's all I ask, that's all. Is there anything you wanna to say to This Is 50 before we get up out of here? This Is 50, Wild Out, myself, nigga Jack Thriller. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, it's Conceited NYC. Follow my nigga Jack Thriller. Hey, Jack Thriller, in 50, please. Gene, I want you to do some crazy shit. Banks, I want you to do them fucking Banks workout free, freestyles and drop them shits and wild out. All right? All right? See you when seated. Like I always say, you just can't say you're really something. You got to be a man conceited. NYC, we over and we out of here. Do I have something in mind? Y'all go to commercial. Don't kiss them hoes in the mouth unless you got to. Still, the fact that this nigga thought he has, like, a Hulk Hogan body and he's fat as hell. And he thinks he's not. But... That's the funniest shit. Cause you, in my mind, I think I'm like one of the sexiest niggas, man. <laughs> you know, cause women treat me like that. It's your nigga Jack said, I went home and looked in the mirror. I'm like, what are these niggas talking about, man? I'm sexy. No, Jack, <laughs> no, you're fat, man. Now, I need to know a girl that fucked you. That's what I need to know, all right? Hold on, you don't believe that females of the opposite sex. Well, if they're females, they're they already are, the opposite sex, all right? right. But anyways. All right. You don't think I'm having sex with them? No, I don't. No, I don't. Can I show do, you some shit on my phone? Do y'all believe? Yes, I'm right now. Oh, okay. Do y'all believe? Can we put up a poll? Can we put up a poll? Can we put up a poll in this video? Do y'all believe Jack Thrill is having sex? <laughs> do you? Yeah. <laughs> y'all, Jack, you once again, nigga, man. Take, we're going to take a poll. How many of y'all think I'm fucking these hoes? <laughs> <laughs> and how many of y'all think I'm out here flouching? <laughs> Boom. Yo, you reply with yeses, yeses, and some no's, no's. Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah. She said she want me, she new to the city. Here's one thing I know about her. Her name can't remember, but she got the fire head. I call her Ghost Rider. She must be tripping to think that I'm tipping and tricking like magic.